chore. End the year. This is bad news bears, I think. Hick Hibiki Rose is here. Nath preserve us. What in the Nath's name is that smell? A bit of lavender royal, a little rose, Ilian says. Well, it's vile. Stay away from me, if you please. It won't do you much good. Everyone in Zeist is bathing these days, all thanks to our Codex pristine waters. Why, well, I've been bathing nearly once a fortnight. Hello, Xavier. Hello, Special K. That sounds wonderful. You smell nice. Why, well, thank you, Your Highness. In fact, the Council should establish public bathhouses in cities all across the kingdom. God above. Really? In public? That's degeneracy waiting to happen. No! I wanted the bath! Green wants my authority to go down, so green and yellow are hanging out together now. If you like each other so much, why don't you get married? Chat's moving so fast, no one will know I love Boba. I was looking at Bodo, and I love you too. Bathing queen? Have the queen bathe in public to show... I didn't read! I didn't read! I'll do it. In front of the palace, your servants scurry to set up a huge golden tub while the nobles look on. You are just about to disrobe when a gust of wind catches your dressing gown and blows it away. As you stand before them completely nude, the nobles start whispering and giggling behind their hands. Boobies out for the lads. Uh, Everything is the same choice. Behold the might and beauty of my royal person. Er, yes, very impressive, your majesty. Do you think it would be wise to get in now? As you get in, you stumble and splash everyone around you. Laughter turns to cold grumbles. In the end, the whole thing is more of an opportunity for ridicule than anything else. The new bathing trend quietly fades away. It's fine, it's fine! What's your legacy? Oops, I pressed the wrong button. What does that even do? Oh, I'm lucky that didn't work. Lower trade. No! Not the purples! We like that one! Oh, boobies out? Majesty, about the treasures of the late Grandi Dorinda. I heard there was a necklace of rubies amongst them. Where is the necklace now? This is of utmost importance. I think Nikki has it. And she will have no idea the danger. By the ninth, a frail monk in the 7th century wrote of a ruby necklace that drove those around it to sin. I believe the late Grandi Dorinda had it in her collection. After all this time, it may have surfaced. She didn't sound very sinful. She could be more sinful! Fof sowing dissent in the game. Count Buskin mentioned his relative playing backgammon with her, did he not? Gambling is a sin. Everyone knows that. This necklace should be destroyed. It could be tested, but the holy regions will be expensive. Call the council to discuss this situation. Grandi Summonus Nikki looks exceedingly anxious. Uh, I'm sure there's no reason to seize this necklace, Johanna. Surely the High Inquisitor is mistaken. Tom is going to sleep. Tom Buskin, good night. Thanks for all the chaos. All right. Hand it over to the Inquisition, ignore the High Inquisitor's concern, have the necklace tested for unholy influences. This music sounds like the Final Fantasy X music. Every time it starts, I think it's Final Fantasy, and then it sort of sounds like the... There's a little bit of it that sounds like the, um... What's that stupid part of the game that I hate the most besides Blitzball? The one where you're putting the orbs in the thing. 
So... One wants my authority to go down. Other one wants more faith. I think this is fine. You can do whatever you want. Cloister of Trials. How dare you, first of all. Blitzball was so hard. Cloister, yeah, yeah, yeah. A to reroll faith to stop, maybe? Eh. My money! My money! See, there it is. Final Fantasy X. Alright, so you've decided... I have the necklace tested. Oh, sorry, my boobies are still out. Grandy summoners Nikki reluctantly brings the necklace to the capital and the High Inquisitor takes it away in a leaden box. She returns after a few days with an implacable... Im... Implacable? Implaceable? Which one is it? Someone tell me. I am poor now. Everyone's voting still. Implacable? Implaceable. Implacable? That's stupid. We had to destroy the necklace as it was irrevocably tainted and host to numerous dark spirits. When words gets around about what happened, most of the southern peasants agree that it's better to be safe when sorry when it comes to evil jewelry. The archbishop also sends a nominal fee to Granny Summon Nis Nikki as an apology. So your wealth went down and then it went... Fuck, I did this one. And then it went up again. My money! Blood money. Speaking of money. My boobies! Mmm, mmm! Count Gers! What are you talking about? Mama Gerg! Nothing is wrong! Absolutely nothing is wrong in the East! Uh... Really? Because you're looking at me like you've s swallowed a wasp. There is definitely not an old witch who lives at the border of my lands And I definitely haven't been having money troubles And most importantly, she didn't offer me a fortune in exchange for just a drop of my blood An offer which I absolutely didn't accept <laughs> Um I'm confused Ever since I didn't accept the witch's bargain I haven't found myself obeying her every command I definitely still rule over my estate, not her Furthermore, she didn't forbid me from telling you any of this And I'm not using negative statements to bypass her magic Also, they had to sing it there's nothing about singing. No, in order for him to tell me this, he had to sing it. He had to sing it. Okay. Let's celebrate all this with some wine. So... Every time I mute, I'm burping because I'm drinking Iron Brew. A musical scene. We're in Hollywood or Bollywood. I watched RRR at Lewis's house and it was one of the greatest films I've ever seen. More farming, less faith. RR was so good. Is that how you say it? Listen, Fav. That's what you get for cursing my singing. Count Gers looks unaccountably miserable during your drinking session. What's his problem anyways? Come harvest time, Count Gers farms yield a lot more grain than they used to, and the peasants are happier. In fact, everything's doing great. There are some complaints about priests going missing, of course, and the church keeps burning down, but you can't have everything. Uh-oh. This game's kind of hard. I think we have to end the season now. Uh-oh. Not good. Let's do the air one first. Ma'am, my boobs? I need them still anyways. 
Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. Should I die, I ask that the crown be passed down to... The council hall is filled with nervous silence. My daughter. The assembled nobles break out into a polite applause. By designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Oh, look at this one. Sterosed. Your Highness, may I be the first to congratulate you on the birth of your daughter. What's her name? Boba 2! I don't even get to choose! How exquisite, Your Highness. I'm sure little Boba 2 will grow up to be a chip of the old block. I was gonna name her something cute. Let's ignore the bankruptcy one for a moment. I have some questions about the treasury. It's not empty, is it? No, no, I have concerns. No concerns on that front. It's simply that there are a few irregularities in the funds, and I'm afraid the Queen Consort Serafina was the last person to touch those accounts. I'll speak to her. What you be doing? Huh? What you be doing? She's a grandee. That's okay, right? Go straight to see your wife. You find her returning from a trip to the cathedral, looking uh, thoughtful. I trust you're having a good day, Boba, although given your expression, perhaps not. The treasurer came to see me today. I wanted to keep it a surprise, but I suppose it's out in the open now. A while ago, I received a letter from my family in the south. Belief in the ninth god is flourishing, but the southern devotion can always improve. So I decided to fund a new monastery there to bring the grandees together in celebration of the ninth god. I know, I know, it was wrong of me to make a move without checking on you first, but it's a great initiative for the South and the Kingdom, can you forgive me? We can't afford it. Well, you're the Queen, you've made that very clear, egad! She stamps out of the room, she does not hide her annoyance and is out of sorts for some time. Get owned, I got my kid! I got my kid! And I don't need you anymore, bankruptcy looms. Why are you spending my money? Only playing against yellow. I'm trying to play against everyone else. Did you see me? Did you see me? Nobody's got a check mark on their thing. Where the hell did it all go? I can't possibly say, Your Majesty. Perhaps you've been spending a little too freely. Everybody's been stealing my money. Apart from raising taxes, we have precious few options. You could get a bank loan or sell off the crown jewels, or perhaps crack open some of your predecessor's tombs. Most were buried with piles of gold, or so I've heard. Um, make more coins! Take a hefty loan from Salvant and Gal. Sell off some of the royal jewelry to wealthier nobles. Time to crack open some tombs. How do I remember what the green goal is? Don't do two or three. Well, I guess it can't go much lower. So, anything that will lower my authority, I shouldn't do. Make more money! I love money! This is gonna have bad repercussions. I can already tell. Printing money is bad. <laughs> but that's a problem for Boba 2. Future Boba. Pew, 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 pew. Future Boba 2. Get owned, loser. Alright, listen. So... Authority to go down. Greens, you're gonna want to build a theater. Sorry, I'll get rid of my boobies. I'll get rid of my boobies. Mod, question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, grandees, you're gonna want C. Purple Town, USA, you want A. Buy E for the queen. A library! I love read! I love reading. Why is yellow helping green? Because I've destroyed yellow. I've killed them. In a video game. Green, we call on you to honor our alliance and support seas, says some more fully this. This doesn't look nice. For Bobby. Oh, it's very close. Oh, never mind. Theatre is winning. A, vote for A. 
put more money in A. More money in A. More in A. I love bazaars. I love when people are strange, aka bazaar. I love when people are weird. I love it so much. Bazaar, bazaar. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. I don't mind. Wait, I don't like F either. A and C, A and C, A and C, A and C. You know you lose if purple wins, right? It's okay. I don't mind losing. It was a fun journey. So trade goes up, authority goes down. It's fine. This is a tick mark and I don't like it. The rich get richer. I wonder what that's about. Probably something not good. It happened gradually, like a frog slowly boiled. At first I was paying a few patrician tolls here and there to cross the road to sail down the river, but as their cash reserves grow, grew, so did their greed. The tolls kept getting higher and higher, and everyone paid, because what was the alternative? Send an army? They would just charge them for using the roads. And if they didn't pay, the patricians' fearsome mercenaries from Velomir would come to collect army or not. What about your crown? That might fetch a good price. I can't sell my crown. Can't you? I don't think you have a choice. This person's wearing green. Yellow, green one, not you dummies. <laughs> the patricians bought your palace some time ago. It's a struggle to pay rent. Sorry, your majesty. Everyone's struggling right now. Was this person against me from the start? No, we didn't win. We lost, like, purple. <laughs> The kingdom's economy slowly goes up in flames. The patrician gets richer and richer despite the turmoil. Soon peasants can't even afford to buy bread. Merchants throw themselves from high towers. Meanwhile, the obscenely wealthy patricians amuse themselves by going boating in specially made rivers of wine or buying up entire villages and forcing the residents to fight for sport. Here you go, your supreme majesty. What's this? An eviction notice. Why is this so embarrassing? This is so embarrassing. You haven't paid rent in months. Pack your things and get out. I... Just give me a little bit longer. We've been very generous. We're kicking you out and replacing with Julia. Uh... What am I supposed to do out there? I don't know. Get a job? Oh my god, I hate this, actually. In the next days, gasps from the gathered crowd. Within a week, Julia has taken the throne. Within a month, you're living with Boba 2 on a farm. Ten miles from the closest village. This is not bad, actually. I get a farm? Saravina divorced you, of course. First chance she got, she didn't marry the queen just to spend her life as a farmer's wife. Okay, talking about f a faith. The best faith is on a farm, idiot. Be gone, fuck! <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Bjorn. <laughs> Uh, you are totally and utterly alone, except for the young Boba 2 and the sheep. You don't hear much about how the kingdom is faring. You soon lose track of who's even on the throne. Instead of sleeping until mid-morning on a bed of silk, you're up at dawn, mucking out the stables. Occasionally, some diseases or disaster or grand war will sweep over your si little slice of countryside, leaving nearby houses and ashes and friends and graves. That's just life. Things will return to normal, and you know what? You're happy. Pop off! I still win! Happiness! But sometimes, secretly, you do miss being clean. The green wins. This is fine. Character development. I like it. Biffo lives happily ever after. Evicted from the palace, the former queen lived out the rest of her days on a farm far from the capital. It was a quiet life, but not without its pleasures. Rushing to complete the scheme, the counts attempted their blood ritual too early. The demon summoned escaped their control. control slaughtered dozens, including Valentin and Count Tom Bat. Biffo the clown farmer. I'm not farming clowns. I'm a clown who farms. In a sun-dappled vineyard, Ophelia and Grandee Farlington open a bottle of their finest vintage. Their schemes had amounted to nothing, but there's always next time. The patricians retreated to their yachts and opium dens, enjoying their obscene wealth while the kingdom starved and suffered. The peasant hoped their hubris would catch up to them, a hope that rested on newly crowned Queen Julia turning on her coastal masters. Naive only time would tell. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Not bad. I didn't mind that. Endgame leader. Okay, so I lasted for two years and six months. 
I married Seraphine of the South and my successor was Queen Julia, which I did not pick. We almost won fellow yellows. Queen Boba the Greedy. Pop off! At least I didn't kick babies. I almost did them. Wealthiest Noble was Summonist Nikki. Poorest Noble. Not Doom Sailor again! Doom is always poor. Kingdom Stats. Pretty nice. Pretty good. Pretty nice. Pretty good. Not bad. Uh, you can now continue again completed games. Why would I do that? Your nobles will return to their previous regions and keep their wealth. Why would I play as Queen Julia unless I want to destroy the greens? What dynasty? I liked that. That was pretty fun. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but I liked it. I liked it. Oh no. It's a good night time though. <laughs> 